tales for dark nights. The following performance is a first round entry in the 2017 Evil Idol voice acting competition. Voting is simple. Following the performance, simply click the thumbs up icon on this video if you'd like them to become a member of the team, or the thumbs down if you'd rather they not. Voting on this entry will conclude one week after the date of its posting. Good luck to all of our contestants. In the summer of 1896, Mr. William Holt, a wealthy manufacturer of Chicago, was living temporarily in a little town of central New York, the name of which the writer's memory has not retained. One evening, he had left the house of a brother whom he was visiting for a stroll in the country. Whatever may have been his thoughts, they so possessed him that he observed neither the lapse of time nor whither his feet were carrying him. In brief, he was lost. Realizing his mischance, he smiled. Central New York is not a region of perils, nor does one lawn remain lost in it. He turned about and went back the way that he had come. Before he had gone far, he observed that the landscape was growing more distinct. Everything was suffused with a soft red glow in which he saw his shadow projected in the road before him. The moon is rising, he said to himself. Then he remembered that it was about the time of the new moon, and if that tricksy orb was in one of its stages of visibility, it had set long before. He stopped and faced about, seeking the source of the rapidly broadening light. As he did so, his shadow turned and lay along the road in front of him as before. The light still came from behind him. That was surprising, he could not understand. Again he turned, and again, facing successively to every point of the horizon. Always the shadow was before, always the light behind, a still and awful red. Holt was astonished, dumbfounded is the word that he used in telling it, to test the intensity of the light, whose nature and cause he could not determine, he took out his watch to see if he could make out the figures on the dial. They were plainly visible, and the hands indicated the hour of eleven o'clock and twenty-five minutes. At that moment, the mysterious illumination suddenly flared to an intense and almost blinding splendor flushing the entire sky, extinguishing the stars, and throwing the monstrous shadow of himself athwart the landscape. In that unearthly illumination, he saw near him, but apparently in the air at a considerable elevation, the figure of his wife, clad in her night clothing, and holding to her breast the figure of his child. Her eyes were fixed it upon him with an expression which he afterward professed himself, unable to name or describe, further than it was not of this life. The flare was momentarily followed by black darkness, in which the apparition still showed white and motionless. Then by insensible degrees, it faded and vanished, like a bright image on the retina after the closing of the eyes. The sudden darkness was comparative, not absolute, for gradually all objects of his environment became again visible. In the dawn of the morning, Holt found himself entering the village at a point opposite to that at which he had left it. He soon arrived at the house of his brother. He was wild-eyed, haggard, and gray as a rat. Almost incoherently, he related his night's experience. "'Go to bed, my poor fellow.' said his brother, and wait, we shall hear more of this. An hour later came the predestined telegram. 
Holt's dwelling in one of the suburbs of Chicago had been destroyed by fire. Her escape cut off by the flames, his wife had appeared at an upper window, her child in her arms. There she had stood, motionless, apparently dazed. Just as the fireman had arrived with a ladder, the floor had given away, and she was seen no more. The moment of this cultivating horror was eleven o'clock and twenty-five minutes standard time. Thank you for listening. If you haven't already, don't forget to cast your vote for this contestant via either a thumbs up or thumbs down vote. New entries will be posted throughout July. Be sure to tune in and vote for each of them and help decide who becomes the next evil idol. In the meantime, turn off the lights and turn on the dark. Chilling Tales for Dark Nights. <laughs>